Is KPJ the right point guard for the Houston Rockets moving forward? And should they extend him? Let's see what he brings to the table. Okay, we see Eric Gordon coming off a curl. He gives it right to Eric Gordon, makes the right play, run the offense. That's all we need to see. You see he reads it quick. Double team, gives the ball up quick. You see it's still 11 seconds on the clock. That's a good shot. You see he taking a hard screen and roll, pick and roll, pocket pass, straight to the big man. That's what you like to see. That's bread and butter right there. See, taking at the high screen and roll, putting pressure on the defense, kicks it out to the big man. That's a, that's not a good shot to me. I would rather see him do something like this. Take it, put the pressure on the defense. Man sucking in, kick it out for the corner three over there. That would be a better shot to me. But that's still a so it's good. I think he need to work on his core balance. You see, he, he got two men in the paint. And he still drives to the paint. That's three men in the paint right there. That's not what we want to see. It's just a good play by Tate and awareness to catch the defense slipping. We need better structure than that. What he does good right here is he sees Herder and the center is playing him. So he takes an extra step, one step, boom. Get them both to commit. Now he, the defense is out of position. Kicks it over for an open three. That's butter. Imagine that Jabari Smith. That's butter all day. He does the same thing here. He sees Collins creeping up on him, doubling him. He knows Tate is free. That's a good shot by Tate. As long as Tate, you know, it's an open three, he look, that's a good shot. This is where I don't want to see. You got to know your personnel. You got the ball on a fast break. Why would you give it to your center? You keep the ball, you take it. Do not pass the ball to your center on a fast break. Once again, he's getting the ball. You want to see his lob threat abilities. Christian Wood sets a poor screen, so it makes it even harder on KPJ. But he don't give up on the play. He stayed put pressure on the defense. And he throws a nice lob to Christian Wood. That's all KPJ on that. Christian Wood did not do his job on that. And he also can do things like this. He's got a bag. Kevin Porter Jr. got a bag. Stop, pop. That's all day. He gets you going backwards. You at his mercy. Now we see Garuba contests a shot. Kicks it out to KPJ. This is the duties of a point guard on a fast break. This is a much better fast break. He recognizes Matthews is a much better three-point shot taker than him. Gives it up. That's butter. Don't let the defense get set. Once again, he's taking high screen and roll. If a man down, hand down, make him pay for it. He gives it up to Jalen Green. One thing about it, he likes to watch Jalen Green shine. He don't get in the way. He gives it up. Get out the way. Let Jerry Lingering go to work. Off his rebound. Drop step. This is your point guard, people. This is your point guard. This is what you want to see. Abusing smaller defenders in the paint. He can't do that. And like I mentioned before, one plus about it, he's not selfish. He, he gives the ball up to Jalen Green. He, he loves to see Jalen Green eat. So at the end of the day, you can make a conclusion that he does have things to work on. He does need improvement. But he does have assets that can make him valuable to this team. So stop bickering and arguing. Everybody's right.